Hi, it's Wendy, you can one, and um, I thought it was about time I made an updated ukulele strap video. Sometime back in the winter, I, uh, I figured out a configuration for strapping my ukulele to my body that I like very much, and I made a video about it called Ukulele Straps and Playing with Boobs, because, you know, that's a challenge. Where do you put the uke, you know? That was an issue in the beginning when I was working this out. So uh, this is, so this is my, and now I have different straps than I had in that video. I have replaced them with, I had kind of shoelaces for straps at that time. Now I have a guitar strap and a luggage strap. And I'll show you the whole thing that I did and in case it's useful to you too. It has been very useful to me. So, so here, here's what I was, here's the challenge I was looking to solve when I first came up with this configuration. Uh, I wanted to be able to have the ukulele support itself without having to, you know, use parts of my body. To, I noticed uh, when I was learning, when I was just brand new and learning ukulele, that that's what was recommended. You know, use your wrist here and your, your forearm here and use your wrist and your hand. Or so, like, why would you do that? What other instrument requires you? To, well, maybe there are other instruments that require you to support them with your hands. but. Seems to me the more self-supporting the ukulele is, the more free my hands are to just play and the better and more easily I can play. So that was important to me, especially right in the beginning when I found that anything extra I had to do, like support the uke body with my own body parts, made it harder to play, you know? You want it to be as easy as possible, especially when you're just starting out. You know, now I think it's a little less of an issue. It's I've been playing almost a year now. It's a little less of an issue than it used to be. But still, you know, it's very nice to have the uke support itself. So I came up with this solution for my uke that uh, has actually two straps. So it, it's pretty solid. And uh, it's basically the same configuration I had in the earlier video back in the winter, but they're just more solid straps than I had then and a little more permanently attached. I used to have some Velcro here. Now there's an actual hole in the thing. The uh, strap is actually attached to the uke body. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a bit about what I did in case it's useful to anyone else. Um, so strap number one, this is a guitar strap. It's an old guitar strap, came with my used guitar that I don't play because it's way harder than the uke. So I don't play that, but I thought no sense in having this perfectly great strap. It's got a lovely design on it and everything. No sense having that tucked away in a case that I'm never opening. So I put it on my uke, so it goes from the uh, the very end of the headstock here, and it's just tied on. Right now it's tied on with a bit of string. It does pop up every so often, so someday I will fix that a little better than it is right now, but it's just tied right there. Uh, other people secure them here under the strings. I'm not crazy about that, and I do like having the... Yeah, that, I don't know. I might try that, actually. <laughs> that might be a better place for balance, actually, there than here. But so you could try that, too. Tie it under there. Um, and then at this end, I have it... There's, I drilled a hole here. So this, is a, this instrument is a flea. It has the flat bottom. I didn't want to give that up because you can actually stand the uke up on its flat end. That's a nice little feature of the uke. So with most ukes that don't have the flat bottom, you would probably want to attach something here if it didn't come with that, and you can get a uke, you know, you can get a music store to do that for you. Uh, I have seen that be the recommended procedure. Don't try to put holes in your own uke. I did, but this is a plastic body, and I had a nice little drill that drills plastic hand, little hand drill. It came with the, uh, for refilling printer ink cartridges. It came with the kit for that and I thought oh that would be perfect because I'm very I have over the years become very adept at drilling holes in plastic with this thing it's pretty easy and it seemed like it was extremely unlikely to break the uke so I drilled the hole as close to the flat bottom as possible without compromising its flatness uh, right here in the top of the body and um, then I put uh, I forget exactly how I did it but I put a string through there and um, pulled it out here, tied a knot in it, and then pulled it back in. So it's secured right there, just just inside the body. It doesn't seem to compromise the sound any to have that there. It still sounds pretty good. It gets compliments all the time. 
So I did that, and then uh, there's a bunch of loose string there. I, I should probably just cut it off, but I wrapped it up. It's kind of icky looking, but um, and then uh, my guitar strap has a little hook there, so that's just you know the hook's just tied on there. That stays pretty solid. Um, actually, the guitar strap doesn't have that hook. The luggage strip, the luggage strap has that hook. So I've got two straps, right? Um, and the uh, the luggage strap one, they both are attached at the base here. You can see there's the guitar strap and there's the luggage strap. They're both attached at the bottom end here. The, um, the luggage strap, as you can see, is also attached in the middle. The flea happens to have a nice, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a nice little plastic loop right here built into the back of the body of the uke. It's a nice place to attach a strap. Uh, most ukes don't have that, so if you wanted to use that part of the uke, you'd have to attach something there to make that work for you. But I have the little plastic loop, so I took advantage of it, tied a little string on it to make a loop to hook. Because if I hook the, if I hook this metal hook directly into the plastic, first of all, I'm not sure it's big enough. But if the the loop is not big enough. But even if it was, it would kind of clunk maybe against the uke body. So this way, it's separated a little bit. Doesn't make any noise. So that's how that's secured. And then uh, there's there's a hook at the other end of the, ah, what can you see there? There's a hook at the other end of the luggage strap and I, I stuck that through the end of the guitar strap so that it's attaching them both to this loop of string that is uh, knotted into the uke body. So that's how that's attached to that end. So that's all three attachments of the two straps. And um, you know, it holds it pretty solidly with the two straps. This one's actually a little bit loose now. I should tighten it. <laughs> Probably should have done that before I made the video. This strap tends to um, tends to slip a little bit and needs to be tightened, and I often forget to do it. But both of these straps are adjustable, which is nice. So, you know, I uh, pretty much have it adjusted the same way all the time. Although I suppose you know, in the winter time when I start wearing uh, more heavier clothing, I might actually want to loosen the strap slightly to compensate for the clothing. So or I get add gain weight or lose weight or something. You never know, right? Um, so it's nice that they're adjustable. Generally, I don't need to adjust them. Once they're adjusted, they, you know, they don't slip anyway. They stay adjusted. And uh, these are nice, comfortable straps and they hold it really securely. And then I can just play. Um, you know, I've been learning finger picking lately, and I know some people like to anchor uh, part of their hand, <laughs> fingers into the uke body when they finger pick. I like to do it without the anchor. I find there's less stress on my hand when I do it. So it's nice to be able to do that, you know, and the uke stays where I put it. It doesn't move all around when I'm finger picking, and, you know, I can do what I want with both hands and move them around and make all sorts of funky chords over here and do finger picking and strumming and whatever and I don't have to hold anything. So that is my ukulele strap. Uh, I talked in the earlier video a bit more about the, the boob issue. You know, um, I have uh, conversed online with lots of people about this issue but you know for those of us of the female persuasion, many of us are, um, <laughs> we are more, um, horizontal in this direction in this spot then we are a little bit lower down so for me this is a very first of all it's a comfortable place for my hands and my arms to be to play so it's a good height for me anyway but I also discovered kind of inadvertently before I made that first video that in fact I had been playing up here and that in fact you know it did make the uke stick out further and it was harder to play there than when it's closer to my body now other people that I've talked to online have said, you know, they have the opposite problem. Some, well, some men also have convex chests, and other people have uh, bellies that stick out more than their chests do, and in that case, they might want to place the uke here. So these are all issues that I think are, you know, sort of personal comfort and taste, and you've got to figure out, you know, what works best for you and your style of play and where you like your uke to sit. But I find that a strap is really helpful for, first of all, working that out. You know, the strap helps you figure out because you can adjust it until you find where it's comfortable for you. So it's good for sorting out those, you know, anatomical differences that we have among human beings. We have them. 
Um, we have differences, you know, I've noticed like our hands and arms and wrists and fingers are all different from each other too. You know, there's certain chords that are really easy for me that are really hard for people who've been playing longer than me and vice versa. There's ones that they can do and I go, how do you do? I don't know how you could do that. Do you know? Because our hands and wrists and fingers and arms are shaped differently and our bodies are shaped differently. So strapping is a very, you know, sort of personal thing. Every person, I think, every player needs to work out for themselves what's the best way to hold your uke. Lots of people don't play with a strap at all. You don't need one. It's not necessary. But I do find it's very helpful for me. And uh, lots of people I've talked to have had similar challenges and, you know, are in the quest for the perfect strap. This is working pretty well for me. It's constantly a work in progress. You know, I modify it every so often. So uh, you never know. There may be a ukulele strap three video at some point in the future, but I'm pretty, well, I'm, this is still really my only uke that I own, so at some point I'll probably own dozens of them like everybody ends up uh, owning, and so, you know, these straps are attached to this uke. That is one drawback to them is I can't easily unattach them, and they don't come off that easily and back on, you know, they're kind of attached. So, and I could I could set it up so they're easier to remove and put on a different uke, so that if I had other ukes, I could set them up so I could do that. But more likely what I'd do is just, you know, work out a strap for each, or a set of straps for each uke that I have. And, uh, you know, each one's probably weighted differently. And so, you know, it's an ongoing issue. You gotta resolve it. You gotta work it out for each uke, probably. Um, the other thing is, plenty of people are comfortable sitting down and holding the uke a particular way and using your knee and your lap and whatever to hold the uke. I really like standing. I sing a whole lot better when I'm standing, you know, it's better singing posture. It's, uh, you get to use your, your full vocal instrument, as they call it, you know, breathe better. I think it provides better energy, even if I'm just doing instrumental stuff, it's just better. I think, personally, for me. And uh, so, you know, you'll find what works for you, but these are some, some of the things that I have discovered and explored in my own uh, journey so far. I'm working out the ukulele strap issue, so hope that's helpful to you. If it's helpful, I would love if you would leave me comments on YouTube below here. Um, my, other, my other video is, um, one, it's my second most watched it's very close to the first most, but it's the second most watched of all my videos that I've made. I have like 80 videos now. It's the second most watched video, and it almost never gets any comments, right? I don't know if it's because there's it boobs in the title. I don't know. But, you know, don't let that embarrass you. <laughs> Leave me comments if it's, if it's helpful to you in any way. I'd really like to know about that. And, um, you know, happy to, uh, to be of help in any other way that I can. So, I think that's everything. I like to talk a lot. Have you noticed that? I talk a lot. This is You Can One, Wendy, signing out. Happy strap selection. Happy you king. Have fun.